Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning. My name's Juliana, and I'm the Children's Ministry Director here at Calvary. And I'm wondering, how long has it been since you've used one of these? Now, depending on how old you are, you might not even know what this is. It's kind of like the pre-iPhone version of Maps. Now, of course, we don't have to use these anymore because today we can just get out our phones and pull up pretty much any location in the world. And we can even zoom in and see it with some pretty crazy detail. Do you remember when Google first came out with their Street View feature? I remember being blown away that you could just keep zooming in until the angle all of a sudden just switches to this other view that shows you what it would look like if you were actually there, standing there in that spot. Now, up close, you can see a lot of the details about things there at the ground level, but then when you zoom back out, you actually get a better understanding of how that place fits into the bigger picture. Well, in a similar way, we're gonna see in our Bible reading today how Paul actually instructs followers of Jesus to do this very same thing, to change our perspective, not on a map, but in our minds. If you wanna follow along, we're gonna be in Colossians chapter three, and we're gonna start with verse one. He says, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above. Where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God, set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. Now, once we've surrendered our lives to Jesus, and we've made that decision to turn everything over to him and to do things his way, we're living a brand new life in Christ. Now, later on in the rest of this letter to the Colossians, Paul's about to get really practical about what that means. He's gonna explain how we're supposed to do this, how we should live out these new lives. But today's verses are just a starting point because it's all about first changing what's going on up here. Because living differently actually starts with thinking differently. Now, Paul, of course, he had no idea what kind of map technology that we'd have today, but his wisdom about this is pretty timeless. We've got to shift our perspective away from just focusing on what we see going on around here at the ground level, because ultimately, it's not gonna matter. Now, I know, it is so easy to get distracted by the day-to-day -day junk and to get worked up and bogged down about things because this is where we are right now. And we're genuinely affected by the things that are happening around us. So the idea here, here isn't that we're supposed to just ignore everything or deny what's happening around us, but we've gotta make sure that we have the right perspective so that we aren't consumed by it. Now, as big as things may seem sometimes here in the moment, there's not a single thing on this earth that doesn't pale in comparison to Christ's gift of salvation for us and this hope that we get to have about living forever with him in just total joy. So if the news headlines or this, even the circumstances of your own life are feeling heavy or overwhelming, remember that being alive in Christ kind of gives you your own little zoom button. We know that there's more to life than what we can see right now, and we can live with hope because in the scope of eternity, the frustrating details of today are gonna fade away, and there is so much joy ahead. Have a wonderful day.